Dear students, uh, today we will do question answers of lesson number four, plants around us. So firstly, you will do one activity in your science fair notebook. You will draw or paste the pictures of three terrestrial plants and three aquatic plants. After that, you will write these hard words in your science fair notebook, and you will learn the spellings and you will also learn the pronunciation, proper pronunciation of each and every word. After this, uh, you will write these keywords. Aerial, cavities, conical, and uproot. I have explained these words in online class. This you have to write in your science fair notebook. After that, uh, back exercise part A. Fill in the blanks. Uh, plants growing on hills are tall, straight, and have a dash shape. So, जो पहाड़ों पे plants होते हैं hills पे plants होते हैं वो tall होते हैं straight होते हैं और further they have cone shape. After that, number टू dash and dash are two of the trees that grow on plains. So, you can write mango and neem tree. And you can also write people, sal. So many trees are mentioned in your books. So you can write any two out of them. After that, number three, breathing roots are also called dash roots. So breathing roots को हम कहते हैं aerial roots also. And our number four, dash is an underwater plant. So in your book, hydrilla is a hydrilla is mentioned there uh, as a, an underwater plant. And number five, lotus stem is eaten as a vegetable and it is known as kamal kakri also b part match the following uh, first is evergreen trees so evergreen trees are you know hot and wet region mein hota hai aapka evergreen trees and wo uske examples hain rubber and tea needle like leaves so needle like we leaves hoti hain aapki pine and cedar ki After that, no leaves. It's about cactus. Breathing roots, as uh, in chapter number two, we already know this. Mangrove, air-filled cavities. Air-filled cavities are there in aquatic plants. Me and in he air cavities, ki wajah se these plants are very light and they can float on the water. A cultivated crop, that is rice. So uh, this is how you will complete part B. and after that part c check the correct option it is a free floating plant uh, water hyacinth hydrilla coconut and lotus so water hyacinth is free floating plant number 2 these are unwanted plants so unwanted plants are known as weeds it can survive in soil with very little water bahut kam pani ke sath survive karta hai cactus so this is how you will complete part c now we will do part d first question is what are terrestrial plants so the plants which grow on land they are known as terrestrial plants after that number 2 how does the conical shape help the plants of hills as we know ki hills pe jo plants hote hain unki cone shape hoti hai to wo kaise plant ko help karti hai wo shape so that is uh, conical shape of hilly trees does not allow snow to get deposited on them so uh, snowy areas mein aapke jo jitne bhi trees hote hain they are of conical shape cone shape and usme snow uski cone shape ki wajah se jo hai snow un trees ke upar deposit nahi hoti hai aur wo tootne se bach jate hain after this question number 3 uh, name two trees growing on hot and wet region so evergreen trees hain hamare teak tree and rubber tree coconut tree also you can write after that number 4 <coughs> name an underwater plant and what kind of leaves does it have so hydrilla is an underwater plant ye humne jo hai multiple choice question mein bhi kiya and after that it has pointed strap like leaves number 5 what is plowing to so digging of soil to make it loosen with plow is known as plowing now we'll do part e 
फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लेस द डिफरेंट हैबिटेट्स ऑफ टेरेस्ट्रियल प्लांट्स हैबिटेट मीन्स अ प्लेस वेयर एनी लिविंग थिंग कैन इजीली लिव और सर्वाइव सो डिफरेंट लैंड फॉर्म्स में डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ट्रीज हैं तो वो आपको डिफरेंट हैबिटेट्स टेरेस्ट्रियल प्लांट्स के बताने हैं तो फर्स्ट इज प्लांट्स ऑफ हिल्स सेकेंड इज प्लांट्स ऑफ प्लेन्स प्लांट्स ऑफ हॉट एंड वेट रीजन प्लांट्स ऑफ मार्शी एरिया एंड प्लांट्स ऑफ डेजर्ट एरिया आफ्टर दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू How is cactus plant able to grow in desert conditions? So cactus plant plant is able to grow in desert condition as it needs very less water, very little amount of water to survive, and water is stored in its stem. जितना भी पानी इसको मिलता है वो कहाँ स्टोर करता है वो अपने स्टेम में करता है एंड इट हैज़ अ स्पाइंस इंस्टेड ऑफ लीव्स इसकी लीव्स नहीं होती हैं उसकी जगह स्पाइंस कंटेला होता है ये एंड विच सेव द वाटर फॉर द प्लांट These are the things uh, due to these things ये survive करता है desert conditions में भी After that question number थ्री what are aquatic plants state their types and give two examples of each type तो plants which grow in water are known as aquatic plants and uh, there uh, it is of two type floating aquatic plants and underwater plants तो floating aquatic plants में आ गया आपका uh, duckweed and lotus एंड अंडर वाटर प्लांट्स में आ गया आपका हाइड्रिला एंड कैल्प्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वॉट आर कल्टिवेटेड प्लांट्स द प्लांट्स विच आर ग्रॉन फॉर देअर प्रोड्यूस आर नोन एज कल्टिवेटेड प्लांट्स प्रॉपरली फार्मर जो है एक लैंड ऑफ एरिया में एक एरिया में पर्टिकुलर में आपको कोई भी क्रॉप जो वहाँ पे ग्रो करेगा और उस क्रॉप को वहाँ से लेगा तो दैट इज नोन एज कल्टिवेशन एंड जो भी प्लांट्स वहाँ पे लगाए जाते हैं दे आर नोन एज कल्टिवेटेड plants for example rice and wheat after that question number 5 why should weeds be removed from the uh, field so weeds we already know these are the unwanted plants which uh, undesirable unwanted plants which grows with the crop so uh, why why uh, should they uh, sh why should they be removed from the Uh, fields so weeds should be removed from the fields as they harm the growth of cultivated plants जो भी आपने crop लगाई है उसकी growth को ये harm करेगा because जो भी soil से nutrition plant को मिलना चाहिए crop को मिलना चाहिए वो ये भी लेगा तो इस वजह से जो cultivated plants हैं उनकी growth जो है वो कम होती है तो इस that's why they should be uh, removed so जो students uh, the, uh, you will complete your part A B C D E in your science fair notebook